Hello and welcome to Grade 2 Science, Unit 1, Going Outside. Different places to live. What do animals and plants need to live? Plants need air, water, sunlight, soil and space to grow. Animal needs air, water, food and shelter to survive. Look at this example of an environment, the swamp. The swamp is hot and wet. In the swamp, you can find animals such as alligators, frogs, turtles, snakes, flamingo and snails. These animals live in this environment because it is hot and wet. Another environment is the river. The river can be hot or cold and it is wet. This means there is lots of water. In the river, you can find animals such as ducks, fish, frogs, snails, turtles and insects, including things like bees and butterflies and ants and spiders. You will find all these animals in or near the river. Another example of an environment is the savanna. The savanna is very hot and also very dry. In the savanna, you can find animals such as elephants, zebras, rhinos, cheetahs, lions, leopards, gazelle and scorpions. These animals have adapted to their environment, a hot and dry environment. Let's look at some mini beasts. Mini beasts include things such as spiders, worms, butterflies, dragonflies, ants, caterpillars, ladybirds, earwigs, millipedes, flies, woodlouse, slug, bees, crane flies, snails, beetles and wasps. These are all mini beasts. We can measure and record differences in our local environments. For example, in Merkez Park, we can find flowers, fruit trees, palm trees, bushes, grass areas and dirt areas. And in these areas, we can find animals such as geckos, dogs and mini beasts, including ants, spiders, bees, worms and butterflies. We can record our differences by writing or drawing what we find. What you have learnt. You have learnt that environments can be different or similar. Different plants and animals live in different environments. Can we care for our environment? This beach is covered with litter and sewage. Look at the picture. What can you see? Yes, there is lots of litter, broken wood, even a toilet seat and plastic waste. This environment is covered with litter and sewage. This is very bad for the environment. What can we do to help protect the wildlife? We can use fewer plastic products. 
because if plastic gets into the sea or the ocean, animals can get stuck in it, which means they can die. We can clean the beach and save water. We can eat sustainably. This means not eating too much seafood and knowing where your seafood comes from. We can also use eco-friendly products. So while doing the dishes, the laundry, or using personal care items, we need to remember where did they come from and where do they go? Other ways to protect our environment include using a bike or walking instead of using the car. Recycling things such as paper and plastic and glass. We should also turn off the lights when we're not using them. And don't throw our litter on the floor. Another way to save water is to take a shower instead of a bath. We can also help the environment by planting a tree. If we create a wildlife habitat by building a birdhouse in our gardens, we can help the environment. When we're not using electrical things, we should turn them off. You could also turn the water off while you brush your teeth. And we can also ride the school bus to school. What you have learned. You have learned that you can look after your environment in different ways. Our weather. Each day, the temperature, wind, and amount of sun and rain can change. This is our weather. There are many different types of weather. Some days it can be sunny, some days it can be raining, other days may be cloudy, and other days may be windy. Some days are hot, some days are cold, some days we have storms, and other days it can snow. We dress differently depending on the weather. What do you wear when it's sunny? Good. We wear our t-shirts and our shorts and our swimsuits and our sandals. What do you wear when it is rainy? Good. We need our raincoat, our rain boots and an umbrella. What do you wear when it's snowy? Good. We wear our woolly hat, our scarf and our mittens with a big jacket to keep us warm. What do you wear when it is windy? Good. We need our sweaters and our pants and our shoes. Look at this weather forecast and how the weather changes every day. Look at Tuesday, for example. It is sunny and 27 degrees. But then look at Thursday, it is rainy and 22 degrees. One day is hot and sunny, the other day is cooler and rainy. The weather changes every day. What you have learned. You have learned that the weather changes every day. Extreme weather. Weather forecasters are scientists who tell us what the weather will be like. Satellites in space 
look down at the earth and collect information. This information helps us to forecast what weather will happen. Look at the picture. This is a satellite picture of the weather. There are different types of extreme weather, including blizzards, tornadoes, hurricanes, flooding, and fires. Blizzards. A blizzard is a very bad snowstorm with high wind speeds. Look at these pictures of a blizzard. Tornadoes. These are very fast rotating or spiraling wind that normally comes from a thunderstorm. Look at these pictures of a tornado. Tornadoes cause lots of damage to people's homes and cars. Hurricane. A hurricane is a very big storm that normally starts over the ocean with very high wind speeds. Look at these pictures of the damage and devastation a hurricane can cause. Flooding. Floods happen because of very heavy rain in a short amount of time. Look at these pictures of flooding. People's houses and people's cars are under water. Fires. Hot temperatures caused by global warming means grasslands and forests are very dry, which can lead to large fires. This is very bad for the environment and many animals lose their habitats. How to keep safe in extreme weather? To keep safe, we should stay indoors. Stay away from the windows and doors. Wear suitable clothing. Have spare food, water, blankets and torch and also listen to the weather forecast so we know what is happening. What you have learned. You have learned there are different types of extreme weather. These can include things like tornadoes, floods, earthquakes, forest fires, storms, tsunamis, hurricanes. There are many different types of extreme weather. Our summary. Environments can be different or similar. Different plants and animals live in different environments. You can look after your environment in different ways. The weather changes every day. There are different types of extreme weather. Thank you for listening.